Hey everyone, thank you for watching. In today's video, we are going to be looking at PPE, personal protective equipment, and how it works with speaker track. We're going to understand how does speaker track work, how does uh, facial recognition work, how does face detection work, uh, and people count, those types of things with different pieces of PPE. For this experiment, we are going to be turning on diagnostic mode in speaker track. Uh, if you're new to speaker track, I have another video, link in the video description if you want to check it out uh, in more depth. In this case, I'll assume you're somewhat familiar with it, and we're going to jump right into diagnostic mode to understand how different PPE impacts the system. Now, to get started, I have a control, which will just be me the way I'm sitting here, no PPE at all. Uh, we'll look at what that looks like, and then we'll go through the different pieces, understand how speaker track behaves, and uh, ultimately, I hope that you uh, learn what to expect when PPE is used in your video environment. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up if you find this helpful. With that being said, let's dive into it. Here is our control case. I have speaker track enabled. I'm actually going to enable the speaker track diagnostics as well. Uh, now this is the control, of course, because I am not wearing any PPE at all. You can see some information along the top. There is uh, audio distance and quality listed up on that side and on this side you can see the people count indicator around me you're going to see two green boxes one is the uh, face detection right so it detects that hey this guy is a human it also is detecting that the audio that is being spoken is coming from me uh, and that is the second green box my name is there as well right under my face uh, it is a, a match uh, and last but not least there is the box that you can see kind of up here that is the crop zone for the shot. So everything inside of that box is what would be sent to the far end, uh, assuming speaker track was enabled without diagnostic mode. So with that being said, that's the, the groundwork of this. Let's add some PPE, see what happens, and go from there. All right, so the first test case is the surgical mask. You will notice I still have both green boxes, which is great. That means speaker track is working. The crop zone is still there. Uh, one thing that is different, however, is the uh, the space where my name label was right here under my face says needs more data. Obviously, to really get a strong facial recognition match, you are going to need to see someone's entire face. Also notice that people count in the upper, on this side, people count is still set to one as well. So again, it's detecting faces, not necessarily the individual, but it's detecting faces. So it is counting people. The people count uh, analytics are still going to work. You can go back and pull that data if you're using a system that captures that to know how many people were in this space uh, at a given time, which is probably even more important when you're doing social distancing and those types of things. In this example, I've added the plastic face shield. You'll notice it is still tracking me as a, uh, you know, a face with the green boxes. You will see that occasionally they go red or yellow. Uh, this just means that the match is a little bit trickier to make with uh, all the stuff covering my face. The sound of me speaking is being directed out the sides. The tracking mechanism is not picking up uh, quite as well, but uh, all in all, it looks like we're still doing pretty good. The data there is uh, from a facial recognition. Specifically, that, that functionality is uh, falling down again. I have a lot of stuff covering my face. I actually took this mask off underneath. The visor shield thing is transparent. It should pick up my... Uh, identity here uh, it, uh, assuming it can see me you know clearly through this still asking for more data so that is going to be there we go Adam uh, my name was picked up so uh, hit or miss a little bit with something like this um, the further you are away from the camera the more the sound being deflected by a visor like this is going to impact the speaker tracking experience so uh, keep that in mind but uh, all in all it's uh, it, the experience is still there and still works pretty good. All right, next I am wearing safety glasses, and as you can tell, pretty much uh, everything is good to go. I'm actually impressed. My picture that I used for facial recognition actually was without glasses. This has glasses on, so it does get the job done pretty well. Let's actually add the headphones as well and make sure it keeps uh, working as expected. But uh, since these are over my ears, I really don't see that as being a big problem. Yeah, things still look pretty good there. Over ear, ear protection, you're going to be good to go in an industrial environment. Uh, the quality looks phenomenal. Uh, really, you're not changing a large portion of your face like you are when you, you know, cover your face with a mask. So, uh, kind of what I would have uh, anticipated. But anyway, now you know. All right, of course, the last use case and the least practical use case is the full face 
uh, respirator gas mask. Let's put that on and see what speaker track does with uh, with that. All right, so you can see it's actually still picking up that there's a face behind this thing, and uh, it's clearly not picking up who I am, which is what I would have expected. Uh, people count is actually still working as well, and it is speaker tracking. However, I would suspect the further you get away from the speaker track unit, the experience is going to go downhill pretty fast. Hopefully, that gives you an idea of how speaker track will respond when people in your Meeting spaces are wearing PPE of some variety. If you have questions, comments, tips, or tricks, please leave them in the video discussion section below. I have additional resources in the video description. And as always, I want to thank you for watching. Hopefully that was uh, informative, and I hope to see you back sometime soon.